Grapevine trunk diseases, or GTDs, are the bane of vineyard owners worldwide, and as of 2012, were responsible for more than $1.5 billion in annual economic damages. While researchers have long known that a host of pathogenic fungi combine to gang up on grapevines, the mechanics of how these GTD-causing fungi work has remained a mystery. Thankfully, it would seem that a fairly easy, cost-effective solution may be on the horizon. GTDs have been known to devastate up to 30% of the vines in a single vineyard each year, and typically attack older, well-established vines. In California alone, annual GTD-related losses amount to 14% of the total value of the wine grapes produced. It's no easy feat to dissolve the tough cellulose and lignin framework that make up woody plants, but a consortium of fungi have figured out how to do it, perplexing scientists. The missing ingredient, says Barry Goodell, professor of microbiology at UMass Amherst, and the paper's senior author, is an understanding of what very small compounds produced by the fungi are actually doing to the grapevines. In particular, Goodell and his UMass Amherst colleagues and student. One of those compounds is responsible for reducing iron. Normally, we encounter iron as the chemical compound, Fe3+. Reducing iron from Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus sets the stage for some nasty grapevine problems. But that's not the whole story, Goodell says. We also discovered that there's another set of small compounds that are produced by other fungi in the consortia, and these compounds are really good at producing hydrogen peroxide. The reaction releases a host of oxygen radicals that damage the woody tissue causing an almost cancer-like disease. In short, different fungi, each producing one of the two types of small compounds needed for an extracellular bomb, figured out how to get together, mix their respective chemicals. Once the cell walls are breached, the fungi can feast on the sugar-rich fluid that once was the cellular structure supporting the vine's own growth. Luckily, there's a potential fix, which is so common consumers probably eat it every morning with cereal, antioxidants and low-toxicity chelators. Often added to food products to preserve freshness, they also interrupt the production of reduced iron and hydrogen peroxide. They also scavenge the oxygen radicals the fungi produce. In addition, Goodell points out, there are some select bacteria and fungi that produce these antioxidant and chelating compounds. Our research shows that we may be able to manage and stop GTDs through biocontrol treatments by increasing the natural presence of these antagonistic organisms on the vines. Of course, there's still work to be done, says Goodell. But we already have colleagues as part of our larger team that are doing this, and we're confident that this research represents a breakthrough in ways that we understand this devastating disease of vineyards and how to control that devastation. The research was recently published in the journals. New research finds key to billion-dollar problem. International research collaboration unlocks the mystery of grapevine trunk diseases. Science Daily https colon slash slash ift t t a a v x to 4 access july 25th 2022 thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos